Three ways Conte could line up Tottenham as he prepares to make managerial debut. Antonio Conte is back in the Premier League but will have to oversee his first match as Tottenham Hotspur head coach in continental competition. The Italian has secured a work permit and visa ahead of Thursday's Europa Conference League clash with Vitesse Arnhem, who beat a weakened Spurs side 1-0 a fortnight ago. Having only taken his first training session on Wednesday, Conte has had little time to work with his new squad, inheriting a group of players who struggled for form under Nuno Espirito Santo, who was sacked on Monday. But a home game in Europe's third-rate competition will not phase the serial winner and Conte could line up in three different ways. Have your say. Will Conte be a success at Spurs? Let us know your thoughts below. A new era in North London is on the horizon. Kicking off with our most likely starters, Conte will be well aware of Tottenham's tricky test at Everton coming up on Sunday. Therefore, the four-time Serie A champion could blend some key players and fringe men to balance out the strength of his inaugural eye, with the weekend's Premier League fixture in mind. Going with Conte's preferred 3-5-2 formation, compatriot goalkeeper Perlugi Gallini has been Spurs Cup goalkeeper this term, while the likes of Joe Roden and Jaffet Tanganga have seen the bulk of their minutes come in the Conference League of late. Matt Doherty and Sergio Regillon are in need of confidence boosts, something that can often happen once defenders are converted into wing backs. Oliver Skip established himself and Santos' team before his department, meaning his new manager may well trust the 21 year old alongside Pierre Emile Hodgepierre, one of the more Conte esque players in the roster. Del Alley best thrives in the number 10 role, and Harry Kane could partner Lucas Maura to complete a potentially deadly attacking trident. With all that said, Conte is a winner and will be desperate to get off to a victorious start. So, why not go full throttle? Hugo Lloris, captain of the world champions let us not forget, is a reliable stopper between the posts, capable of bailing out the Eric Dyer and Davison Sanchez, if the duo have an off night. Tangindambel clearly possesses the talent to succeed at the top level, but Conte will know he, like with Ali, must be pushed mentally and physically to reach those heights. Emerson Royal's best qualities are going forward, similarly to Ree Gillen, whose tenacity will delight his Italian boss. Giovanni Lo Celso put in a decent performance in the flat 3-0 defeat against Manchester United behind Kane, so bringing Hyung Min Sun closer to them could well be prosperous. The latter pair shown in a similar system employed by Jose Mourinho for a short period of time, as their telepathic connection saw them combine for a record-breaking 14 Premier League goals last season. As well as a winner, though, Conte is a realist and will be cautious of exerting unnecessary energy in a competition he has never managed in before and may find difficult to navigate. The 52-year-old's record in Europe is considered a major weakness on his CV too, hinting that his priorities are usually found in domestic tournaments. 22-year-old goalkeeper Brandon Austin, who spent time on loan at Orlando City last season, has watched on from the bench in recent weeks and will be keen to cut his teeth at the state-of-the-art stadium. The same goes for Estonia international Maxim Piscotzi, 18, who has made four starts for his nation after signing for Tottenham from native outfit Flora Tallinn, compared to the three minutes of action at club level. How would you line up Tottenham and Conte's first match? Pick your starting's eye below. Midfielder Niall John is another youngster who has been in and around the senior fold this term, while Harry Wink started the defeat in the Netherlands, his sole appearance since September. Ben Davies knows what playing in a three-man backline is like for Wales, as does Doherty from his time at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Up front, 17-year-old academy striker Dane Scarlett played 75 minutes a fortnight ago, and Steven Bergwijn has faced Vitesse before in the Eredivisie. Whichever selection Conte opts to deploy, 